look, buddy, I'm an engineer. That means I solve problems. When it comes to mods, there are a few that sit above the rest in how impressive they work with the game and how popular they are. The TF2 mod for Contractors is one of these mods. They had new maps, new game modes, fresh models, physics and weapons, and they could have stopped there. Shit. Sniper. He did not watch out enough, oh my god. But no, they didn't stop, and they're not stopping. In one of their most recent updates, they added the tinkering Texan himself, the engineer. They didn't stop at the new character either, they've implemented a whole system to do with the engineer class, down to collecting metal, the construction animations, the placements, even using the wrench to build them up, and it's really, really cool. That's really cool. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh, that's wicked. That's really cool. It's really changed how the mod is played, especially when half the players are using the engineer class just because it's brand new. You'll find whole groups of engineers huddled together sink behind what is basically an army of turrets, just protected from everybody else. What on earth am I looking at? How the hell did they get in there? This update is huge for the game in another way too. It means the technology is there for a more advanced level of game to exist. And of course, the final class in TF2, the Spy, which if added, I know would bring a new meaning to the word chaos in the game. I will... No! <laughs> One of the first thoughts I had playing as the engineer was that it somehow makes the gameplay simultaneously more relaxing and more stressful. I'm not sure how it does this, but it just does. I wonder if I can sneak a turret out here. No! My turret! You bastards. You blew it up. Damn you. Damn you out of hell. You're constantly making sure your turn isn't destroyed, you yourself aren't getting killed, and that you've got enough metal. Because my god, if you want to be an engineer, you need that sweet, sweet metal. Oh, yeah, that's not my fault, it's engineer gaming. Oh, no, no. Come on, come on, give me metal, give me metal. They're right there. What? The oh, there's a demo man down there. No, you knob. Protect the turret. No. I will defend my turret with my life. On the other hand, once you've set up your heavy caliber tripod mounted little old number, you can sit back and relax because a real engineer should never use his pistol. Hit. Go on, turret, save us. Come on, don't die on me, sentry turret. Yes, sentry turret, go. Yes. It's not just the turrets at your disposal either. You've got your dispensaries and teleporters to help you and your team. The recently teleporters have actually been used for a new phenomenon, which has been dubbed ninja nearing. Trying to repair both at once is a bit tricky. Does this count as ninja nearing? I'm so confused, but so impressed at the same time. What? Why can't I? There we go. Oh my god, I'm all... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh no! Get <laughs> What is this? <laughs> They're all just down there. <laughs> oh. We're stuck. I'm 
A flaw in the mod allows players to poke their heads through and place down teleporters to let them get to locations that were otherwise inaccessible, and it creates for some really cheesy spots where you can touch the enemy, but they can't touch you. Keep in mind though that as of this video it may have been fixed so much as you want to try it, the engineering may have died as quick as it came up. Where does this go? Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> I can't get out. What? This is this is genius. Oh my god, it's perfect. It's perfect. High five. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, I know I said a good engineer never uses his pistol, but I never made the claim I was. And besides, sometimes a little side piece is all a guy needs. Goodbye. <laughs> Maybe this pistol is secretly powerful, what the hell? It's definitely one of my favourite classes to play now and it's become extremely versatile. Even though its main purpose is for defence, you'd be surprised what you can accomplish when putting a few turrets up on an offensive mode. Aside from the new class, the whole game has been bug fixed and updated almost weekly. It's very good to see such a committed dev team. But my time in Contractors TF2 also gave me an opportunity to revisit why I enjoyed it so much in the first place, and that was the heavy. It costs four hundred thousand dollars to fire this weapon for twelve seconds. <laughs> God, the demo men just fly. I should try that. Ha ha ha! Get back, savages. He really took get back to heart, didn't he? More death, more bullets, more daka, more daka. If you've not had the chance to try out this mod yet, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun and it's very easy to just sink constant hours into it. There's a lot I still haven't looked into, like the demo man or soldier, so I'll definitely be coming back to it maybe when they put the spy in, but for now, that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching, kind stranger. Your presence is greatly appreciated. A like and a subscribe are never needed, but I'm grateful for everyone. Have a good rest of your weekend, and I'll see you in two weeks where we make a scary game even scarier. Goodbye. Take a look around. You're out of touch. I'm out of time.